Hello, people of God. This is your sister in Christ, Candy. I hope everyone is having a great day out there today. So I just wanted to quickly get on here and do a small teaching on living the spirit-filled life. Amen. So everything that I'm about to speak about today is all found in Romans chapter 8. So in Romans chapter 8, it speaks about how those that are led by the Holy Spirit of God, we are the children of God. Amen. And unfortunately, Romans chapter 8 also says that those who are carnally minded, that brings spiritual death. And I don't know about you guys, but I want to always constantly have joy, love, and peace in my life. So it is very extremely important for us as believers to always be led by the Holy Spirit of God. Now, when we are led by the Holy Spirit of God, the word says that in our lives, we will produce joy, love, peace, self-control, goodness, kindness, meekness, humbleness, amen, being submissive. These are all great um, fruits to have in the Holy Spirit of God. So um, with that said, let me just quickly invite the Holy Spirit to speak through me. It's going to be a very, very small teaching. Holy Spirit, dear God, I come before your mighty throne of, of grace today, Lord, in Jesus' mighty and holy name. And Holy Spirit, I ask that you come in today and teach through me. Speak through me. Let it not be me speaking, but you, Holy Spirit. Um, give me the right words to share with your people today, this teaching of living the spirit-filled life. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. <laughs> okay, so we know that when we are led by the Holy Spirit of God? Well, first of all, how do you live a spirit-filled life? Well, this is how you live it. You grab the Word of God and you read the Word and you get so filled with the truth of God, with the knowledge of God, that um, once you get so filled with the truth of God, then you're going to start thinking thoughts that are praiseworthy and you're going to you're going to feed your mind thoughts that bring positivity in your life, thoughts that bring joy, love, and peace. And you're not going to focus on anything negative. Um, if you have to shut down every negativity in your life from secular music to negative news on the TV, shut it down. Anything that's not going to benefit your mind to grow in the Holy Spirit, shut it down. And when we do go through negative circumstances, do not focus on that negative circumstance. Instead, focus on God. Pray to God. Thank God. Go to church. Pray. Uh, read the word. Um, think thoughts that are praiseworthy in your life. Think on thoughts that are um, on things that are going great in your life. And never, never focus on those people talking evil of you. Anytime, listen to me, guys, that we are in the right path opposition will come and will try to steal our joy our peace never focus on the evil going on around you or what um people that are in opposition say about you always focus on what god says about you always um focus on scriptures like i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and the more positive that your mind becomes the more Holy Spirit led you will become and the Holy Spirit will guide you and lead you to the right people that we need to go and to evangelize to. And um, so, yeah, that is how you live the spirit filled life. You want to live your life on the truth of God. You want to build on the rock. You want to um, love people, encourage people, uplift people and never focus on negative circumstances around you. If there's something negative happening, instead, focus and shift your mind on the positivity that that negative circumstance can bring in your life. So that is how we live the spirit-filled life. And so I encourage my brothers and sisters to continue living this spirit-filled life. Be strong in the Lord. Get rid of anything that just doesn't benefit your mind to grow. Never focus on um, anything negative that people are saying about you. It doesn't matter. What matters is what God says about you. And God is for you. God will never be against us. Okay. I love you all so much. Stay blessed. God bless. And everything I taught on today is found in Romans chapter 8. I love you all. Stay blessed. Bye.